ungrateful feather brains? <sighs> Ingrates, a flock of fools. I could have solved all their problems, too. Solve other people's problems? Tell me about it. Well, it all began in the charming little community of Eggville, the home of the famous doodle -doo egg plant. Corn was the basic ingredient used in the manufacture of these fine eggs, which were sold to neighboring communities. Corn was also the main food item in the diet of these healthy workers and their families. Steady employment in the factory gave the workers a high purchasing power to keep the local businesses prosperous and the people happy. Robert, it's an outrage. Corn, 12 cents a pound. Profiteer, corn is too expensive. You'd no like to raise the price. Our children will starve to death. Now, ladies, it's not my fault. Farmer Dodo raised his price and I had to raise mine. That's right. Got only half a crop. Had to raise my price or, or go broke. Well, wages haven't gone up. What will we do? And prices can't go any higher. <coughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Dr. Owlsley Hoot at your service. I am an expert in regulating the law of supply and demand. A slight flip of this miraculous plan index and all your troubles are over. If 12 cents a pound is too high for your customers, we'll just fix the ceiling price at 10 cents a pound. You can't do that, neighbor. If corn sells at that price in the store, I'll go broke. No, you won't, my friend. This subsidy plan of mine will prevent such an emergency. The farmer can't sell his corn to the grocer at the fixed ceiling price and stay in business. So the government simply pays the farmer enough money in the form of a subsidy to allow the farmer to sell to the grocer at the fixed ceiling price and still make a profit. Then the grocer can sell the corn to the consumer at the fixed price of 10 cents and everyone will be happy. Now, where does the government get the money to pay the subsidy to the farmer? Very simple. The government collects a minor tax from the egg plant to pay this infinitesimal subsidy to the farmer. Amazing! Isn't that a good brilliant just So, properly impressed with my superior wisdom and obvious integrity, this fortunate little flock voted me into office with all the powers and standby controls I needed to plan what was best for everybody. As a direct result of my infallible plan, business was prosperous and everyone was cooperating happily. What? More taxes? I'll go broke. Higher taxes means higher prices to the consumer. Higher prices to the consumer means fewer customers. Fewer customers, lower sales. So I'll have to cut our payroll or go bust. Laid off. Yep. Folks stopped buying so many eggs on account of the higher prices and half of us lost our jobs. Oh, my poor babies! They'll go hungry! What shall we do? Since the layoff at the factory, I ain't even built an egg crate. Nobody's bought a thing in my shop. People must be eating hay. Business is so bad, I can't even get a hand out. You're telling me business is bad. Look. Come on out, Dr. Hoop. Yeah, really it's terrible. terrible. We're going to get our jobs back. My chicks are yeah, going to hungry. You, Dr. Hoop. Quiet, please. Quiet. I also have a plan for this emergency. I'll just roll back eggs to the old price. Taxes are too high to sell eggs at the old price. Oh, pish-tush and fiddle-faddle. To cut your production costs, I have another plan. I'll just reduce the wages of your employees. With wages reduced to cut production costs, the factory can sell all the eggs it produces, and everyone will get his job back. Of course, this will necessitate the fixing of all prices, wages, 
and profits in the community. To make sure everyone gets an equal share, I will ration all commodities. I hereby assign Officer Rooster to see that we all observe the controls that have been established for our own good. That is all. Break it up, break it up, you earned what the man said, now get going. Hey, this gives me an idea. This rationing plan is gonna help my racket. Uh, how's about selling me some corn, huh? Let's see your ration coupons. Ain't supposed to sell corn without coupons. Ah, uh, don't be a sucker. Better take the dough when you can get it. Shouldn't break the law. <laughs> the law. I'll teach you to break the law. What? Farmer Doodle out of business. No corn. How am I going to keep my business going? Hey, I can get it for you. Of course, it'll cost you a little more dough. Well, got to have corn. Got to keep my business going. Evading the law, eh? I'll show you. Sorry, the black market's cornered all the corn. <laughs> I know where you can get it, girlies. Of course, it'll cost you a little more. Just follow me, ladies. Welcome, ladies. Come in. Come in. Come on, get going. I caught you. Black market dealer. Uh, copper. Now that we're uh, all in jail, who's uh, going to pay you? Why, the government, of course. Dr. Hoot. And where does Hoot, the government, get the money? By taxes from the people. Hmm. Something's wrong. Maybe we better talk this thing over. Don't get excited. I have a plan for this emergency also. It's very simple. It's right here someplace. Take it easy. I'll find it. Not this one. No, 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 no. And that's how I was repaid for planning the security, happiness, and welfare of that flock of feather brains. By the way, have you ever read this? You can fool some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time. But you can't fool all of the people all of the time.